so Donna, how has knowing your mutation profile changed your MDS treatment experience? I'm not sure if it changed my treatment experience because I'm not sure if the doctor based most of my treatment on mutations. I really don't know. I imagine that was part of it. But in my own head, the more mutations I get, the more I think I need to worry a little more of what's going on. You know, I think um, when I started out with two, well, that wasn't bad. But as they accumulate, I begin to get a little more concerned. And I think that I did start the uh, decidabine IV probably sooner than I would have if I didn't have those mutations in the beginning. But I think if I understand it right, my doctor felt that um, the way they score us now, the scoring system doesn't really include the mutations and that with the mutations, I'm probably a little more advanced than, than what it, the formula says. You know, so I think maybe that had a bearing on starting the, um, the treatment a little sooner. But and that's a that's a great insight. You're right that as physicians, what we try to do is predict the risk of a patient's disease. And until now, we really haven't been able to put mutations into that risk assessment very cleanly. Now there is a new mechanism to do that that will be published soon that will allow us to do that more effectively. But I think exactly what you said, certain mutations tell us that a person might be a little bit higher risk than other factors are predicting. And that could influence when we decide to start treatment or exactly what treatment we decide to use. 